as a business owner you can have different people working with you each of them will have a specific role with different levels of permission for example an admin will have complete access a sales representative might have access just to create invoices a project manager can view and edit the projects and so on with zoho billing you can invite these different users to your organization and also assign them different roles with their corresponding level of access in this video we will learn how to invite users to your organization create and assign custom roles to them and a few other functions for users and roles to invite an user to your organization log into your zoho billing account go to settings and click users under users and roles Click invite user at the top right corner. Enter the user's name, the email address through which an invitation will be sent, and select a role for the user in your organization. There are three default roles which you can assign to the user. Then click send. An invitation will be sent to them through their email address. They can click the link to log in and access your organization. In Zoho billing you have different roles such as the admin staff and timesheet staff apart from them you can create additional roles for your users with different levels of access let's see how to add them go to roles and click new role enter the role name and add description if required you can either give them full access to the modules or configure the level of access Click more permissions for additional access options and click save. You have created a new role and you can assign this role to your users while inviting them to your organization. Let's look at some of the functions that can be performed in users and roles. You will be able to view the history of activities by the user in your organization. Mark them inactive or permanently delete them from your organization. You can also edit the user's name and their role on clicking the edit button. If you want to add more details about the user, you can create additional fields. Go to user preferences and click plus new custom field. Once you've created a new field, you'll see it listed here. You can then fill in the necessary information about the user. And that's a wrap for our video. Thank you.